Okay, welcome back, uh, uh, viewers. I'm Mr. Wagden, and uh, I'll welcome you to our another session of uh, calculator tricks. Uh, with me right now, I'm having two calculators uh, here, and I think after the last video, we mentioned that we were supposed to do something on uh, resetting a calculator. Uh, if you look at uh, my two calculators, uh, one uh, this one shows D, and we agreed that D is uh, the normal mode that you are supposed to use unless otherwise stated. If you are calculating something different. Now on the second calculator, instead of D, I'm having an R. And I told you, always be curious when you're given a calculator to check the mode. Or if you don't have to check, then you have to always reset it to uh, reset it before you do any calculations. I just want to show you how sometimes the calculator can mess you up. Like for example, let's try to look for the sine of angle 30. The sine of angle 30. The sine of angle 30. The sine of angle 30, that's 0 0.5. If I use this other calculator, uh, sine of angle 30. Now, uh, if you look at the display there, I'm having a different answer from this. Uh, but they are all calculating sine 30. That's why I said always check the mod uh, so that you're sure that your calculator is displaying the right mode and then you can continue doing your calculation so today we shall uh, i'll be showing you how you can reset your calculator and apart from that we are going to look at uh, how we can actually use the calculator to fill the table of values in case we wanted to draw uh, a quadratic curve uh, in graphical solution of quadratic equations you can see there's a table here which is already filled with uh, values of x and y. Uh, so always the function like what we're having here is y x squared take away x minus 6. So you, you are given the values of x and then you need to calculate the values of y. Of which you can go the manual way. Uh, but remember we need to save time so that you end up earning max uh, on, in a short time. <clears throat> so first things first, we need to see how we can reset a calculator and then we shall confirm if we are going to get the same answer on sine 30. So to reset we have shift and then you go to mod and then option 3 and then you think equals to, you press equals to and then it, it takes you back to zero. And then here I also have to shift and then you go to mod and then you option 3 then equals to severally so let's see the answer there is 0 here and so forth we can try now I'll look for sine 30 again sine 30 uh, gives you 0 0.5 now and also this side sine 30 uh, gives you uh, the same thing 0 0.5 so at least the calculator is reset I'll show you again to reset, you click, uh, you press shift, mod, and then option 3, then you press equals until you have a 0. So that is a calculator that is reset. Now the other thing that we were to look at was uh, how uh, we can complete a table of values in case you are given a function like the one being displayed here, x squared, take away x minus 6. Uh, now given such a function and you need to uh, complete the table easily first of all we know we can do it manually uh, which is not wrong but uh, we need to save time so the function says y equals to x squared uh, take away x and then take away 6 and uh, we are given x values you can see the x values are ranging from negative 5 up to positive 5 so for each x value you have to look for the y value of which uh, if we go manually uh, this will be y equals to x squared that will be negative 5 
uh, squared and then take away x and that will be take away negative 5 take away negative 5 and then uh, we take away 6 and this translates to negative 5 squared that will be 25 and then negative negative we end up with a positive 5 and uh, and then take away 6 so this gives us um, a 30 take away 6 and the answer is 24 the way it is indicated there you get uh, 24 uh, if you can check the table the first value if we use x equals to minus 5 uh, we get 24 now we can feed the function in the calculator where uh, where we have x we are going to use uh, the answer uh, the answer key so this uh, answer key is going to be our x uh, when i'm writing the equation or when i'm feeding the equation in the calculator so i'll have uh, it says x squared so i'll have answer squared and then uh, take away uh, answer because it's x and then take away uh, 6 take away 6 and then you press equals to uh, don't worry about what is displayed as the answer now you will uh, you will key in your first uh, value of x which is negative 5 and uh, remember uh, negative 5 you use the negative function is this one this one is for difference or when you are subtracting so I'll press negative 5 equals 2 and then uh, you can replay to see what was the function and then if you press equals to you have the first value which is 24 now if you wanted the next value which is uh, for negative 4 I'll just press negative 4 again and then I say equals to then I replay to bring back the function and then equals to it gives me the next value which is 14 and so you can carry on like that until you complete your table and uh, that is you'll have saved a lot of time and you end up with your curve drawn remember uh, this is very very important for those candidates who are going to sit for their mathematics if you want to save time you can use some of the cal uh, calculator tricks here to save your time now uh, i want to believe that uh, there are those who have been helped in this video and uh, you can uh, forward to more candidates so that they can look at it uh, to help them uh, prepare for their forthcoming exams uh, we shall be doing another another video and that will be how we can solve a quadratic equation using a calculator so we shall look at the way we can feed the whole equation in the calculator and get the values remember when you're having